Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you click the small plus sign next to the Btrieve folder in the Create New Connection section of the Database Expert dialog box, you'll be presented with the Open dialog box. We use this dialog box to create a data connection to a Btrieve, or now called Pervasive, database engine. The Pervasive engine is a complex system of DLL and executable files that are also specific to the version of the Pervasive software you're using. It's important to note that the Pervasive database engine must be correctly configured and you'll need to refer to your Btrieve Pervasive database engine documentation to ensure that it has been correctly configured before attempting to access the data using Crystal Reports. Also note that when Crystal Reports opens a pervasive database, it reads all of the information about the tables in the database and reserves about 64 kilobytes of memory in a buffer to do this. This then restricts the size of the pervasive database to roughly 80 tables, depending on the number of fields within each table. Notice that in the Open dialog box, you use the Look In dropdown to navigate to the folder that contains the pervasive DDF files. The pervasive DDF files contain all of the necessary file, field, and index information about the tables in the database. The following three DDF files are required and must all reside in the same directory or folder. First off, there's file DDF, field DDF, and index DDF. One set of DDF files normally contains multiple pervasive data file definitions. Once you select one of the DDF files, Crystal Reports will then add all of the data files defined in the selected DDF to the report. Crystal also takes the default location of the DDF files as the default path of the data files. The DDF files and the actual data files can reside in different folders, however. Now, if you use Peachtree Complete Accounting, you'll find that this is the type of database connection to use for access to the tables in your Peachtree company file. So you can navigate using the Look In dropdown to the desired company folder, and there you'll find the three DDF files needed to load your Peachtree company data tables. Simply select one and click Open to view the tables within your company. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.